Oh, I just, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, okay. Actually, if I change to this, is it gonna be okay? Um, yeah. I just, oh man, I, I, I have no words, honestly. That was one of the endings of all time. I just, I, I, I don't even know how they managed to like do something like that. Anyways, let's check. Let's check the nexus. Oh. Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. Law accurate New Vegas title screen. The scene where the Brotherhood is still goes in and mows down the NCR. I think that was Todd's wet dream. It's so true. Honestly, it's just like. Uh, sorry if you can hear a lot of these plastic bags I have. Um, yeah. I just. I don't I don't know. I just feel like it was so unneeded for the NCR to like be there, I guess. I think it was cool. Don't get me wrong. But man. It's just like Oh fuck. Anyways. Do I have... Oh, that was it. I was gonna... Oh, shit, what was it called? I was gonna um change what I use for the chat based off what Salamander uses in his streams. But I have no clue what... Uh... Here we go. It's probably... I don't know what stream it was where he shows what he, like, uses. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Was it? No. It's one before this. I know it was one of these ones that I watched. Where is it? Show me what you use. Um oh yeah, I should move this chat to the screen. Ah, there we go. Bot Rex. Hey Drake, how you doing? Okay, let me move this to my other tab. Uh, let's pop that up there. The BS down there. YouTube. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Continue. Okay, it's just it's not gonna work. Just finished the TV show, gotta say I liked it as a... Hang on. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort this out. There we go. Um, only two ninety nine a month. Oh, don't tell me I have to chat up. Is this what I want? No, it's widgets. Oh my god. Okay, this website's kind of ass. Uh, widgets. Go. Chat. Here we go. Transparent. And then, yep, copy that, and now we uh, share that, edit, 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 where the, where the fuck is, interact, no, uh, sorry guys, give me a sec, I'll just refresh, hopefully chat works. Uh, 
Okay, it doesn't look to be working. This is great. Ah, fuck. <laughs> um. Oh, and I'm just this, the old chat thing. God damn it. Ah, hi everyone. Um, I'm not using Vortex. God no. Why would why would why would I use Vortex? I would not wish that hell upon anybody. Muted? I'm not muted. I don't think so. No, I shouldn't be muted. It might it might just be kind of quiet. Um, oh shit, I'm just not my mic. I can try turning up the game. There we go. Is that a bit is that a bit louder? Hopefully it is. I don't wanna turn it up like too much. Actually it doesn't even look like it's doing anything. Oh no it is. Okay. That's good. Alright. We'll leave it like that. Uh I do kinda wanna do a dust play through now, but that can wait. I was memeing you a good there. Oh, I know. Um, the chart shows the thing thing, and it was like a. So someone commented on the video. Um, hang on, let's, let's load into my game. Uh, wait, Shani, sh yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. We are gonna have spoilers for the uh the TV show. Oh yeah, the Fallout Four um. Updates come out by the way. Well, no, it hasn't come out, but um, it's like what's it called? It's coming out on the 25th, I think. Yeah, Shady Sand, uh, Shady Sands got destroyed. Uh, someone commented on the recent video saying that the chart shows that Shady Sands fell in 2277 and it was later nuked. Also, Shady Sands was presumably the first capital that NCR moved. Presumably to- oh, Shady Sands was the first capital that NCR moved. Presumably to Vault City or the Boneyard. It's still around, just lost a lot of ter territory. As for Vegas, we know the tunnel as we're going to invade from the Lonesome Road and House causes Freeside to go to shit. He does always kill the kings. Uh, Vegas losing its tourism has, has legs. On the plus side, the Khans in the Legion are apparently just vibing doing their own shit. That's pretty true. But I uh, finished the show. Yeah, I finished it during my lecture. Oh shit. Uh, I fin yeah, I finished it during my lecture earlier today. Why wouldn't Arroyo be the capital? Arroyo is not only important to the tribals, right? I don't think that had anything to do with like the NCR really. Although I haven't played... Uh, I haven't finished Route 2, so I don't know. Dust is no, not no, not really. But uh, New Vegas seems to be destroyed by the looks of it. Uh, and the NCR in the show, yeah, they are. that hates anything New Vegas. Eh, I mean, okay, this is the thing. I don't think it was Bethesda. I think that, like, the guys that made the show were, like, fans of New Vegas. And they wanted to... Because, I mean, one of the uh, show writers was, was, like, a fan since, like, Fallout 1. And I think that they did want to... New Vegas was something they probably did want to do. I mean, because we've had, like, New Vegas rumors for, like, ages and all of that. So it makes sense that it would be in the Fallout show, especially if it is on the West Coast. But, I mean, I don't know. It's just, I am, I guess you could say, I'm looking forward to Season 2, considering it is going to take place in New Vegas. But at the same time, I am worried. Uh, New Vegas, okay, it's not nuked, but it looks to be in a state of very significant disrepair. Why would they hate their own game? I don't think they hate it. 
I don't think they hate it. I think they're just trying to expand the lore and move the story forwards, but I don't think a lot of people are going to like the way that they do that. Oh my god. Oh, how did that miss? There we go. That's in Vegas. Want to see the fate of democracy? Look out the window. Aguda and Oro is NCR. Also very large at the end of all that too. Could also be Sanfran. Yeah, but Sanfran has the uh, the she and all of that, doesn't it? So like, I mean, I don't know. I guess the NCR could take out the she, but. Bro, they're reckoning New Vegas and the pre-existing lore for the OG games. What did- okay, I've seen that a lot. What do they actually do that retcons the lore for the OG games? Because, like, when I watched the show, I didn't see anything that stands out that, that, like, contradicts the lore of the first two games. They literally just nuked the NCR to recreate the New King Meg Megaton thing? I don't think so. Although, I do think the reason the NCR got nuked was pretty dumb. Although, like, the thing is... If, like, the, uh... Man, these guys are so fucking tanky. Holy shit. I think if the, um, like, the dad was, like, an antagonist in one of the games, I think that could be really interesting, you know? Like, because his motivation, like, is really cool for why he does the stuff he does. They fucked up house law? How did- what did they, uh, do with that? I mean, okay, I'm gonna be honest, I skipped all of, like, the pre-war sections because I just lost interest in it, but I'm gonna be re-watching it, like, um, later on with my mates, so. The Fall of Shady Shans Sands are the act actual bomber to events in that timeline? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. So, like, I mean, that's the thing, like, if they do, if they are two separate events, then it doesn't necessarily wreck on New Vegas. I mean, because what I'm thinking, yeah, is as well, Maximus looks kind of young. Like, I would say he's like 24, maybe. And, um, 24 at like most. And the show takes place in like, what, 2296? And he's like around six by the time that he gets found by the Brotherhood guy and Shady Sands gets nuked. So I think to say that that, that Maximus is like, you know, old as fuck. Well, not old as fuck, but like, you know, I think his would be quite weird. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm just waffling. Um, yeah, Obsidian devs don't hate Bethesda. They don't hate each other. Uh, but yeah, people do project their own feelings onto Obsidian and Bethesda. People are like, oh my god, fucking Bethesda just hate Obsidian. They're ruining, like, they just want to ruin everything Obsidian and Interplay ever touched. And it's like, that's obviously not the case. I mean, and if anything, I think the show kind of proves that with the amount, the attention to detail that was with particularly, like, some of the weapons and all of that from the, uh, like, the classic games. As for retcons, not many. Only thing that stood out to me was the Brotherhood of Steel Ranks. Knights to seem to, knights seem to have replaced paladins in their roles. Yeah, they do seem to have. Where is? Oh fuck! I don't have the this modern stored. Damn. Oh, I need to buy some stem packs. The pre-war sections were your favorite parts. I mean, like, okay, this is the thing. If I wasn't like watching it in a lecture, I would have probably watched the pre-war parts. But I don't know. It's just like. Me personally, I didn't really care for the Vault Tech lore. That is really right. Damn, I'm gonna have to reduce the bloom. Um, yeah, I didn't really care for the Vault Tech lore all that much. Um, so I just sort of skipped it. <laughs> Damn, you have no sympathics. Episode 6 didn't need to exist. Feels like a filler episode. What the hell was that weird cult about? I know. Like, genuinely, that part was so weird to me. Like, I thought that was going to be, like, their own faction. Instead of, like, that's what I thought, like, Moldova was going to be a part of. Not, like, the NCR. Because, like, the cult is just 
So, like, why are they worshipping her? You know? Like, do they know that she's some pre-war fucking cryogenically frozen, you know, person? Like, I don't know. It's weird. That part was really weird. Episode 6 was quite funny, though, with uh, Maximus in the vault. I did quite enjoy that. Let's go to uh, Vault 34. Actually, no, the Vault 34 crashes my game. I don't think I've ever been to Camp Guardian, though. I don't even know what that is. It makes sense. NCR goes to shit after losing me Vegas. House has to handle tunnelers, raiders, and freestyle going to shit. And then he killed the kings when while losing tourism money. Yeah. I mean, it. yeah, that part does make sense. Like, I can see House fucking up Vegas, like, really easily. But, I don't know. I think it'd be weird if they... Weirdly enough, I think it'll be weird if they do acknowledge, like, tunnels existing. It's like... I don't know. Like, tunnels are just such a... I don't want to say OP, but like, you know, they're kind of... Kind of... Kind of cracked. Uh, attention to detail, my man. The Brotherhood on the West Coast is now in its prime when originally they were on their last legs. Yeah, but yeah, they did get reinforced by Maxim's chapter. And as well, like, I mean, shit, after the ending, the Brotherhood are in, like, a really strong position, you know? So, like, that's the thing, the Brotherhood are now, like, the dominant faction on the West Coast again. Which is kind of crazy. Vault Tech teamed up with Repcon, Robco, and West Tech Big Mountain, which I thought was the government, but run by Sinclair from Dead Money. Then decide the Vault experiments and drop the bomb. Oh, shit, that's pretty cool. And no, I think Big... I don't know if Big Mountain was run by the government. Or Sinclair. I thought Sinclair was just like an associate. Holy shit, my PC is going crazy trying to play New Vegas. Okay, I'm gonna... Can I... Oh fuck, what's my what key for special K? Is it shift and... No, what is it? Like shift... I don't know. I'm gonna have to restart my game so I can see the what key for special K. So they're saying that season two would be in New Vegas? Yeah. If you haven't seen it, these aren't my screenshots. They were sent to me, I think from probably NH Arms or something. But um, yeah, there you can see the Lucky 38 and like the destroyed strip wall, which looks pretty cool. Oh shit, there's even like Securitrons there. Oh crap, I didn't even see that. That's kind of cool. But yeah, and then we have this other screenshot which shows an NCR vertebird and I don't know what that is looks like it says casino this is giving me freeside vibes like let's say that was the silver rush down there yeah this is definitely freeside look at that 100% fucking freeside because the roads are wide as well yeah I think this is freeside But it confused me because House said, was said to have predicted the bombs. He could have predicted the bombs. I mean, because if you think about it, House would have known that, like, the bombs were going to drop. Like, him saying he predicts them doesn't mean that, like, he didn't know that vault -Tec were going to do it, if that makes sense. So I think House could still, like, predict the bombs and then have the bombs be dropped by vault -Tec. If anything, that would make more sense why House could predict them. Was it Control Shift Backspace? There we go. Oh wow. There we go. Frame rate limiter. Show me this. Well, I'm making this shit down to like 60. There we go. Do you think they nuked the NCR and Tangle Vegas in to stir up flame in the Fallout community? To get people to talk about the show, maybe? I don't think they did it to stir up flame. I think they... I think they nuked the NCR because... I don't want to say they wanted to get rid of them. But... I don't know. It kind of feels like that. I 
I mean, if you think about it, the NCR were, no matter what, I think, like, the logical, like, explanation. Well, no. The logical... Oh, shit, Ulysses is here. I didn't realise that DLC was done on this character. Um, What DLCs haven't I done? The Sierra mod, right? We'll do that. Um, I think, like... Because if you think about it logically, yeah? In the majority of the endings, the NCR loses the Battle of Hoover Dam. So I think, like, them... Picking that option to have the NCR be in a weaker state makes a lot of sense because, like, it leaves the most endings up to canon still. So, you know. I'm just really interested to see what they do next. I mean, season two pro is probably not going to be out for, like, another, what, three, four years? And I mean, hey, maybe that's enough time for them to develop a new Vegas 2. Or whatever the fuck they want to do, you know? Because I think it's, like, inevitable now that we're getting a new Vegas remake at some point. I do think it's kind of... Not weird, per se, but... They announced the Fallout 4 next-gen stuff. And, um... Like, no announcement of... Any of the new Vegas... Like, because new Vegas and Fallout 3 have both been getting updates. Like, I thought that would have been announced alongside the Fallout 4 next gen. Kind of weird that it wasn't. But, um, yeah. Also, kind of a L for Bethesda to, like, not have a uh, Fallout 4 next gen done in time for the show. Like, even if, say, like, it released the same week as the show, I think that could be okay. But it's not. It's coming out on the 25th. Like, you know, I think that's going to be past, like, the wave where people want to go and uh, play Fallout after the shows. Yeah, them losing the Mojave campaign, the campaign they never really had the full force put into the area. People really forget that. Exactly. Like, the NTR were weak in New Vegas. So it's not surprising that, like, they're going to be weak in, like, future games. Or, like, content. I'm waiting until the June presentation I heard is coming. Oh yeah, Juice, Juice had mentioned that in his video. Hope it doesn't break Fallout London off two days after release. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Fallout London like pushes their release back after this. Or something like that, so they can make sure it works on next gen. Just them losing the Mojave wouldn't immediately cripple the NCR. True, but it would severely hinder them. I mean, if you think about it, yeah, depending on the outcome of what the Courier does in New Vegas, the NCR is probably going to lose the dam, because they, I mean, they do in three out of four, the four endings. So they're def I think it's safe to say that they definitely lost the dam. Um, and then either the Long 15 could have been nuked, which would be a massive blow. So, you know, like that's the thing. If the Long 15 got nuked, the NCR is basically fucked. Because that means that, like, not only would their operations in the Mojave would have failed, but they also wouldn't have had a way to get, like, all of those resources back to California. New Vegas, for that New Vegas fans are the most oppressed people on this earth. <laughs> I would guess for that for next gen got today due to whatever creations they were adding, needing more time. I mean, maybe, yeah, but the creation stuff's been done for, like, a while, I think. How do they manage to fuck up everything they touch? I'm surprised their ability to cock it all up, it's inspiring. I mean, to be fair, I, I think the show overall was quite good. I don't think that they messed up the show. I just think that the decision to... Actually, now that I think about it, the only bad thing is, like... The way you interpret the Shady Sands vault, Shady Sands vault scene. I think that is, like, the main thing. Which could like ruin the show for you. I think Shady Sands getting Shady Sha eh, fuck I can't say it. Shady Sands getting nuked could be like that makes sense. The character motivation's there for the guy to do it. Because like you know, he's some crazy Vault Tech fanatic basically. And um Yeah. Uh, that's all I need to know. I liked it, some stuff in episode 6 was a bit, bit iffy. What, what did you think in episode 6 was a bit iffy? 
my frames are dying, holy shit. Uh, I'm gonna turn off shadows. Because... I th they are just flickering like mad. Uh, why is interior shadows as well? We'll turn them off. Just for consistency. There we go. Plus, for all we know that NCR could still be alive and kicking around the hub and vault city. Shady Sands is still only one city? Yeah, true. But I think that's going to be a massive blow to their morale. You know, because like, okay, let's say President Kimball also got assassinated in uh, New Vegas. You know, NCR is already going to be on like low morale. And then if they lose Shady Sands as well, that would be just a massive blow to them, you know? Because like, it's not as if Shady, Shady Sands was... I, I can't fucking say it. I, I swear to god, if I say like... It's like a fucking tongue twister. Shady Sand. Shady... Shady Sands, yeah. Ah, fuck. Anyways, yeah. Uh, it could be that vote 31 is a homage to vote 0, except, except with vote tech employees. I think that's what it is. It seemed like it. I mean, I think vote 31 seemed kind of cool. I think the whole vote law stuff was pretty interesting. Although, did they... I'm not sure if I missed it, but did they say what the experiment in vote 32 was? Was that the, like, overcrowding one where they go to, like, cannibalism? Me out, dude, the NCR is said to lose the Shady in 2077. New Vegas takes place in 2288. It quite literally messes with the law that was established. Okay, well, this is the thing. It's, like, the thing saying that they lose uh, Shady Sand, that could mean a lot of things, you know? It doesn't necessarily mean that, like, they, you know, literally lost it to a rival faction, or, like, it got nuked. That could mean that they just, like, it lost its power, you know? Or, like, something big happened there, like, I don't know, a great famine, or something along those lines. Although, I think it is heavily implied that the fall of Shady Sands was, um, the nuke. I think that that is, like, really the only way you can interpret it. Oh well, the way that makes the most sense with regards to, like, the rest of the show. Just because Hoover Dam is mentioning New Vegas to still be connected to Shady Sands via power? I mean, that's the thing, like, that could still be a thing, you know? It could just, like, maybe that's why Shady Sands needs the power, because it's fallen, or something like that, you know. This is mega cooked from our side, I think they just hate us. Yeah, true. This is, this is some, I've never coped so hard in my life. I was in my lecture, and like, when it happened, I literally, like, screamed when, when I heard, like, the uh, explanation. For what happened to it. It's crazy. How did that miss? There we go. Oh, I don't have retrievable throwables. There we go. Uh, could be an honest mistake, most likely it's. It could be, but I think, I don't know. With the attention, oh sorry, with the attention to detail that's in the rest of the show, it'd be a bit weird for them to make. Well, the thing is, I just don't get why it would be, I, the only reason I can think for them having that happen in like 2277 is just because that's the year Fallout 3 takes place in, and they want to have like an oh my god Fallout 3 year moment. Like that's the only explanation for it because that's the thing the shady sh shady sands explosion could have easily happened after fallout uh fallout new vegas or like the same year you know just after like what we experience in the game so you know i don't get why they felt the need to have the date as that it's roblox yeah Roblox has got um pretty insane with some of the uh, the new like servers they have. Like this this dead money one, pretty accurate. Do you think I'm gonna show 
a significant amount to be for it to be a mistake. Yeah, that's the thing. It's definitely intentional for them to like have that year. So like you'd think that they would check it, but that's the thing. I mean, you just never know with stuff like that. It could be a mistake, but I think it was just a full out free reference that they didn't think too well through. <laughs> But I mean, like, the other New Vegas stuff in it is pretty interesting, you know? Like, the Sunset Sarsaparilla guy, when he showed up, I fucking the whole chat of uh, me and my mates, we all, like, visibly pogged, you know? Like... Well, no one had stated he was obsessed with Fallout 3, I just hope they don't do something crazy like make New Vegas non-canon. I don't think they're gonna make New Vegas non-canon. If they make New Vegas non-canon, that is, like, literally the biggest mistake they could ever make. If they do that, they are, like, beyond stupid. I think the year has to do with the first Battle of Hoover Dam, and they're calling it the biggest mistake the NCR made. True. Maybe. Honestly, I doubt anything happened to Shady Sands before NCR, otherwise the NCR troopers would cry about it, like they cry about everything. <laughs> now, anything related to Elijah would be better and more friendly. And a more law friendly reference. I'm surprised. No, I'm not surprised Elijah didn't get mentioned. But I was okay. I, I was pretty happy with the uh, the Brotherhood's depiction in the show. They're clearly setting something up, and I think people are panicking too quickly. Yeah, I agree. The show plot twist is that you and the Lone Wanderer nuked Megaton and got the reaction from Liam Neeson, but in reverse. Because they can't help but to recycle everything. So true. Oh my god, my aim. Oh my god. I'm like clicking the trigger too early. Okay, I just... I'm just not gonna aim anymore. I'm just gonna go full knife spear. Oh, wait. Yo. I just thought of something, okay? What if. What if, what if, what if, what if? Uh. What if that's the cloud? Like, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of kind of orangey, you know? What if it's not like... And it looks kind of dusty as well? Could be the cloud. Yo. Oh yeah, I need to check if the video is um, done processing. I think it has. Cool. Because I accidentally left two of the screenshots in. And like, they're not... Um, Yeah, they're not my screenshots, and like, it's a- they like, whoever got those screenshots was watching- was like, pirated the show. And it's like, I didn't want to have that in my video, so I had to like, blur it out. <laughs> and I didn't realize until too late. Bro, they're making Dust Cannon. Yeah. Honestly, I think like- Okay, say if them Harvey is like, proper fucked up. That could be so interesting. Because- if the Mojave's like fucked up, that would be so much more like brutal and bring completely different like moments to what they had in the show already, you know? Like that could be a massive opportunity. 
Whether they do it, we'll have to wait and see. Could create a divide situation like the long, long road DLC, dramatically change the look of the area? Yeah, could do. What's this guy? Oh, he's through the wall. Do I have 50? No way I have 52 knife spares. Yeah, no. Must be. Yeah, it's my police, uh, police pistol ammo. Making certain mods kind of might be pretty cool. I doubt it would happen, but it'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, okay, I, when we were watching it, I was getting my lore fucked up because me playing like New California at such a young age, like, really fucked up my, uh, my remembering of New Vegas canon. You haven't watched it yet? Uh, you probably shouldn't be in the stream because we are discussing big spoilers for it. And, and it is definitely worth a watch, I would, I would say. The show itself isn't bad, just some of the decisions they make later on, a lot of people are upset about. Is the mod companion birdie? Uh, I don't think so. Well, I don't think it's connected, I mean. At most, it's probably a reference. Are there bugs in the show? Yeah. Um, it crashes at one point. I mean, shit, the Rawhider Steel Guy even clips into the floor at one point in the show, which I thought was pretty, you know, pretty accurate to the games. Crazy that they included that. Shortboard doesn't say that NCR got nuked in 2277. It says that's the fall of the NCR, as in the beginning of the fall, the arrow points towards the mushroom cloud after the year 2277. Yeah, that's what I think as well, but... Some people have taken it to mean that, like, the NCR got nuked in then. Which, you know, I, I think what you said is, like, highly more likely. But at the same time, the show, like, heavily, um, I don't know. I think the fact that everything else has dates apart from, like, the Mushroom Cloud makes it a lot more ambiguous as to, like, when that happened. And maybe that was the intention, you know? So, I mean, if you think about it, there's like 15 years between the show and New Vegas. So, like, yeah. Although, it must have happened, like, soon because of uh, Maximus, but... I'm going with the Battle of the Hoover Dam theory. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, shot any rat. Dog would have fucking killed me there. My god. Don't like it too goofy? Nah. Eh. I don't. I, 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 I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. The Enclave confused me so much, they were just there. I know, they didn't make much sense. I mean, like, the thing is... They didn't really need to be in the show, the Enclave. Because, I mean, like, it was basically just there for that, like, scientist guy and that, like, special... Whatever the fuck thing they made. Armor thing. The Enclave of Remnants, like in New Vegas? Yeah, I know. Chris Avalon will be happy he never liked the NCR just being another pre-war society and was originally going to nuke them in Lonesome Road. <laughs> well, he got his dream. They were there for the MacGuffin? Yeah, they were. But that's the thing, I don't get why they couldn't have just had, like, some... Because obviously, like, if it's, like, some, you know, whatever the fuck it was called, Cold Fusion. Like, obviously that has to be developed post-war, otherwise, like, if it was something pre-war, chances are someone probably would have stumbled across it at some point. 
So, yeah. It definitely had to be developed post-war, but like, I don't think the Enclave needed to be the people to do it. I mean, they, they would have a lot of incentive too. It's like, shit, if they had unlimited power, they could fucking charge their power armor like all day, every day, you know? Let's try not to shove Enclave and Brotherhood of Steel into every Fallout media. I would say they succeeded in Fallout 4 by not shoving the Enclave in, but they've just uh, posted like a thing for the uh, Creation Club and the Enclave run it. Like, more Enclave content. Okay, um, someone commented on the video, and I'm just going to call it out, because I see this take a lot, and it really pisses me off. So, um, they said, Look at how Bethesda handled New Vegas and Obsidian. They're some of the most petty people in the industry. I don't get it. Why do people keep supporting these clowns? It's such a fucking dumbass take, the fact that it's just like Bethesda hate Obsidian and New Vegas, because their game's more, pop like, higher praised by fans than fucking Fallout 4 and 3. I think that's, like, the dumbest take ever. At the end of the day, like, you know, it's profit to the Fallout IP, which, like, Bethesda owns, you know? So, like, they have no- they have literally no incentive to, like, shit on New Vegas fans. If anything, New Vegas fans are, like, so fucking dedicated, Bethesda could, like, you know, do, like, the most low effort shit, like, with the, uh, the NCR Ranger armor in 76, and New Vegas fans would be, like, hyped out of their mind, and probably, I bet you some of you here prob probably played Fallout 76 because of that, like, NCR veteran Ranger armor, you know? Like, yeah, they're not spiteful. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I'll save my questions for the end. And that's what I've missed, a rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a lord. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this. I want to out of this country. And they nuked Shady Sands, I know. A petty person would rather piss on someone who decided them at them breakfast than make that person a customer. Yeah. What are you talking about? Our colors neckties are linked. I die, you die. That's an interesting clause. That's a real bad contract you have. We have. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do something so smart. I'm gonna check the hidden responses because I can guarantee there are gonna be some good ones here. Never mind, there aren't any yet. <laughs> uh, Die Hard at New Vegas fans only want to be angry. They don't actually care about Obsidian. If they did, the Outer Worlds would have been more popular and not just quietly fell off. Exactly. That's the thing, man. Die Hard New Vegas fans are like, they, they must just be the most, most miserable people on earth. Okay. Like, holy shit, the only thing you think about is, like, Fallout New Vegas. Like, I don't want to throw shade, because, like, I don't watch that content. But, like, the one Kratosis video I accidentally watched was, like, a Fallout 4 one. And I had to, like, click off after Bro started comparing it to New Vegas in, like, every single way. Like, man, just shut the fuck up about New Vegas, you know? Like, it's not some sort of holy grail of a video game. New Vegas is good. Outer Worlds was good. And I, yeah, same, I can't wait for Outer Worlds too. But, um, was Outer Worlds, did, Outer Worlds didn't have the staying power of New Vegas. I think for obvious reasons, I think the world design sort of like, you know, I don't think it promoted that much um, replayability with like exploration. Whereas like, you know, although it did have a lot of like branching out quest options, you know. Was it Frederick Sinclair bit sitting in the big MT representative chair? Apparently, yeah. And honestly, that makes a lot of sense because we know Sinclair and uh, Big Mountain were quite closely affiliated with uh, the Sierra Madre, so. Claimed all from right of the Fallout Bible, Chris Avalon pitched several Fallout spin-offs to Bethesda and even some Elder Scrolls spin-offs, they declined them all. Yeah, I know, but I don't think that's for, like, from, like, 
just pettiness. I think that's because Bethesda, like, you know, they see Fallout as, like, their baby now. You know, I mean, they've had the IP for longer than Interplay had it at this point. So, like, I understand them. You know, if they have plans for, like, Fallout 5, which we know they do, um, you know, I think it makes sense for them not to want to have a spin-off and, like, crowd up too much of the lore. Because that was, I mean, I know that's something that New Vegas did that they might not have been too fond about. Well, I say that, I'm just speculating. I have absolutely no idea. But if I was to assume why we haven't seen another Fallout spin-off, I don't think it's because New Vegas was like such a game it fucking blew Bethesda out of the water when it comes to the franchise. I think it was the amount of how lore-dense New Vegas is might have made it hard for Bethesda to like keep doors open in the future like they wanted to. I mean, we know that they said that to um, Obsidian that you can't say that like the Boneyard was nuked. Because, well, obviously, we've just seen the Boneyard in the Fallout TV show, you know? They just cancelled multiple projects and laid off a lot of New Vegas stuff at the time. That's the thing I think a lot of people need to remember as well. Obsidian isn't the same company now that they were when they made New Vegas. Like, you know, if we do get another Obsidian Fallout game, chances are it's going to be completely different, you know? Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Where the fuck did Dean run to? Let's not forget, Chris was also one of the main leads behind Fallout 2, which is sort of controversial in the fan, shade, fan base, especially the pop culture references. Exactly. That's the thing. Like, I mean, yeah. I think, I think a lot of people hold Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 in, like, such high praise. When, really, I don't think, like... You know, the game's obviously good, but story-wise, I don't know. I don't know. Is this a wait book? No. Fuck, I didn't mean to read it. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's go get Christine. I'm just glad they acknowledge New Vegas. Exactly. That's what I'm most happy about, honestly. Because, you know, New Vegas 2 could be real. <laughs> like, I think Bethesda would be very dumb now if they don't remake New Vegas for season 2 of the show. Because, um, I know a lot of you people here probably- I'm not sure if you know him, but he's a regular here, Broad. He's one of the mods on the Discord as well. He, um... Actually, no, I don't think it was him. It might have been Myron. One of them- or it might have been Shift. I don't know. Someone was saying that, like, they could remake New Vegas, but, like, adapt it to work with the uh, the new lore that they've introduced. And I think that could be quite interesting to see just how they go about doing that, you know. I really love what they did with Vault Tech and but instigating the Great War, but it seems a bit out of character for House to be participating in it, don't you think? No, I don't think so. I think House would see that as an opportunity, you know? Like, because if you think about it, yeah, if that shit happens, House already has his plans in place, you know? Like, he's got his stuff to, like, protect him from the nukes, so it doesn't really affect him. If anything, it just means that, like, he could pick up where, like, the ruins, you know? Because, obviously, if something like that was to happen, it would mean, like, the government wouldn't be able to get into his way, and all the vault tech people, well, they're going to be in the vaults. So House could rule the world with his Securitron army. And I think that was his motivation for um, aiding in the inst instigation of the Great War. To be honest, un unironically, could you make Colonel Autumn living after Fallout 3 work? Wait, did they do that? I must have missed that part. I mean, I guess... I mean, shit, Colonel Autumn survived, like, the radiation th although that was because he had a pill, wasn't it? Um, shout, uh, shout out to Joshua Sawyer and the project designer who went 
want to make mods. Also, there's already mods based on the show on the Nexus. Yeah, I know. No, they just had a funny idea. Of, oh, okay. I was gonna say, <laughs> if they, if they, if they brought Colonel Orton back, that is that would, would that would have been wild. Bro, just would never die. Um. All right, where is this terminal? Here we go. Uh, disengage main power. I. Oh no, never mind. What about Courier Six? Bro, probably. I, I, I think what would be pretty funny, or not funny, but pretty cool, if they just go for like the most evil fucking route for Courier Six. That could be such a cool contrast with like Bethesda's like canon endings for their. Uh, well, what we know is canonical outcomes of their games. Like, you know, if they have the courage to be a massive, like, son of a bitch, you know, that could be fucking cool. J Sawyer Ultimate must be for any playthrough. Yeah, that mod's really good. I just don't use it for compatibility reasons, mainly. You can talk Ultimate into walking away, so it's impossible. True. Is there anything on these terminals? Oh, no, there is a doctor's bag. And a ton of chips. I hope they give us a good look or reason about the situation in Shady. Um, well, I mean, they explain... I don't know if you're on about the new call, like, The Fool. But I think both could be explained law-wise based off stuff that we already have. I'm gonna be cooking up a video on, like, my actual theory on it. Because, I'm not gonna lie, the one that I got out today was literally just, like, my first reaction, you know? Like, literally, I finished watching the show, like not even 10 minutes before starting to write that script. I was, I, I left my lecture early to go record that video. So like, which one is Christine then? So, this one, no. I can, I can fucking hear the bitch banging. Where are you? No. This one for sure, yeah. I used to pretend my 4.3 3 protagonist became evil postal president taken over DC with Merc companies. That's the thing, man. Because they haven't canonized the, like a lot of the outcomes, you you could just like have your head cannons, and it's amazing. I think they could have chosen the chose canon ending of the New Vegas Independence. Well, the th I think like I think so as well. Mainly because hmm, actually, I, I I think so just because it's got the most similarities with like you know no matter what. In New Vegas Independence is quite similar to Yes Man Outcome. So, you know, that's two out of the four endings. So 50% of the endings, the same shit happens essentially. So, I think it makes sense for them to pick the outcome that leaves the most endings up to uh, to still be canon. I mean, a canon even Evil Courier would also lend itself to wipe the slate clean being canonized. Yeah. Because, like, an evil courier could explain so much. It could explain why the NCR is in such a shit state if he bombed both the long... if he bombed the long 15. It could explain why uh, the cloud is in... Uh, well, why what looks to be the cloud could be in New Vegas. But then again, that could just be, like, the ending thing. How did you feel at the end when Agus showed up? Kind of weird, honestly. I know, I wasn't expecting it. I mean, for them to... Uh, to bring Agus into Fallout, I was not expecting, uh, like, you know, they were saying, like, a Persona 3 collab would have been with Fortnite. I was not expecting it to be in Fallout. The craziest thing they could do is have Yes Man as canon. He killed the Korean and took over like people thought he would with his upgrades he mentioned. That would make so much fucking sense, though. Like, oh no, imagine it. Yeah, you have the Golden Lucy walk into, like, the Lucky 38, which is definitely something that's going to happen in the next season, I'm calling it. And, like, they just see Yes Man. That could be such a good, like, I think that I feel like that would fit in with the comedy comedic style of the show so fucking well. Why was the mode lady, lady using raiders to kidnap McLean? Seems like a weird decision from an NCR leader. Um, yeah. But at the same time, I don't think I don't think she's an NCR leader the way that like we think of NCR leaders in Fallout New Vegas. I think she's an NCR leader in the way that like she's just the person who's taking command of the troops. I don't think that she actually... Like, that's the thing. I don't think the NCR in the show are, like, as democratic as they were in uh, New Vegas. Yeah, Desperate Times, Desperate Measures. Sort of thing. 
and they go into a casino full of dead securitrons or the smiley f oh that would be so fucking that would go so hard honestly just it's, oh man just thinking about like seeing securitrons in the show would be fucking amazing Dude, the show started and the vault door opens in the show. I was waiting for the Enclave to mow them all down. Oh, I know, right? I mean, I... Yeah. I was thinking about it now. The ending might not be too bad. I know a lot of New Vegas content creators are going to be like... They're going to throw a hissy fit. But... Yeah, I think I've I think since starting the stream I have definitely changed my stance on the ending a lot. So the Enclave is still alive? No. It's the remnants. So basically the same as they were in New Vegas. They're just in a bigger base. Somewhere snowy. I hope they make Securitrons as beefy as they made Power Arm in the show. I think they will. Cause that's the oh my no, because that's the thing. In the show we've only seen dumb robots. Securitrons would be like, they would be like, you know, the badass motherfuckers of the show, like, of the robot world. And I think if they do it to where, like, the Securitrons are all, like, these really hard, tough, like, you know, fucking, whatever the fuck Securitrons say, I don't know, I don't play New Vegas, <laughs> um, you know, like, if they have a ton of, like, Securitrons like that, and then, like, Lucy and fucking the ghoul go to like who have, find whoever's in control control the securitrons and it's just fucking yes man that would be amazing to be honest with me it's at eight and a half i must say i'm sad they revealed that vault -Tech started the big war yeah i think um i do think that's sort of one of the things that does remove some of the mystery from the games but i think that could at the same time open up a lot of possibilities because now like they could do stuff with like the Chinese remnants and all of that. Being like... You know, they could be a lot more complex. If they weren't the ones that actually started the Great War. And it was vault -Tec. Yeah, vault -Tec starting the war was a very popular theory since... I want to say since Oxhorn did his video, but... Can't wait for Fisto in this... Fisto has got to be in it, man. He's got to be in it. If Fisto isn't in it... It's, it, it's, it's a 1 out of 10, I'm sorry. The show fell off if Fisto's not in it. They walk into a destroyed ruin of Vegas. Remains of security ones laying around. Either Yes Man or Vic Victor shows up. Those watching know what may happen, but in the show they are unaware. Yo, that would be good. I think, I think, I don't think Victor's going to be in it. I think Yes Man for sure. I think we might see Victor's corpse as like a little Easter egg. I have to be honest, I don't really care about the whole Fallout TV New Vegas situation. It's not attached to New Vegas as the other games. I could I could never get into Oh, I'm not attached to New Vegas as the other games. I can never get into it. I don't know why. I don't blame you. New Vegas does definitely have I don't know. This is something I was thinking. I was gonna do like oh man, I've got so many videos that I've scrapped, but I was gonna do like a uh, Fallout 3, like um why Fallout 3 is like so good video. But I mean obviously so many people have done that, but I was gonna focus on like a single aspect of it. And that was like the atmosphere. I think the atmosphere of Fallout 3 is so much more immersive than New Vegas is. And I think that's just because of how desolate Fallout 3 is. Do you think they're good? good? They show good springs. They show good springs in the ending. Let me pull it up. Someone must have uploaded it onto YouTube for sure. Like. Someone must have uploaded it. Ending explained? I don't want to see that. I don't I don't want the ending explained. Is this yeah, look, they show good springs. That's good springs there. I'm I'm telling you that is good springs. Maybe not, it's a little close actually now. I'm looking at it. The strip looks fucking massive. Holy shit. Hang on, can we up the quality? Okay. So like when I first saw this, I thought that was good springs. Cause like I don't know, but looking at it now, it doesn't look like Good Springs. It could be Good Springs that's like been more built up. I wonder what that could be. Um, no, I don't know what that is. It looks really desolate, but we can see we can see they've added some more like casinos. Definitely the Lucky Thirty Eight there. I think 
That might be the Ultralux. Wait, no, because the wall goes around free side. Hmm, does the wall go around free side? It does, doesn't it? I love how the strip is a literal diamond, though. Yeah. So, what I'm assuming is they're coming at it. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me skip through this dialogue. Okay. Let's pull up the map. Oh, oh wait, yeah. I can't click on the menu. Okay. So, what I think... What I think, what I think, what I think. Okay. So. Um, I think they're coming out the strip from th this way, this direction. Because you can't see... Oh, fuck, it kept playing. Um, you can't see Camp McCarran from this side. Or, like, anything, really. So I think this is the north of the strip. That over there? Maybe west... Not west side. I don't know. I think that could be the New Vegas Medical Clinic area, maybe. That looks a little bit more built up. Or is that the sign to um thingy? I don't know. McCarran's not in the woods. Yeah, I know. McCarran would be like over here, I'm saying. Like down there. Around that area. That's Big Mountain. Okay, hang on. So this is like, well, not Big Mountain, but like, you know, Big Mountain's like over that hill. This area here is... Um, Jacobstown, up there. So that is the uh, ruined um, tribal camp. Like, I think that's... Oh, I don't have... Hang I think that's like um, tribal village over there. Because like you can see... Okay, maybe they're standing like here? Let's, let's go to that area on the map and see what it looks like. Sometimes I don't like have this immersive HUD because I want to see my, my marker. <laughs> and I've turned them off in Jam for videos. Um, okay. Let's run over. Go to the bootleg place to get a view. Uh... Bootleg, bootleg, bootleg. Where is that? Is that that's at the top, right? The bootleg cap station. Where is? Uh, am I blind? Cap counterfeiting shack. Here we go. Let's turn off the fog. I still haven't finished the episodes. I appreciate the responses, Marty. I left a like. We'll check back later. Have a good one, y'all. Oh, see ya, man. Another brewing place with the Cazadors. The brewing place. Oh, this place. Okay. My bad. Yeah. Maybe that... Ignore my LOD. I have no clue what the fuck's going on there. Damn. Um, yeah, because I that's that's definitely the same mountain. Let's forget the Mojave is much bigger than it is in-game. We've probably seen just a snippet of the Mojave. Yeah. So I think they're, like, over there. What is that direction on the map? Let's go, like, up to Brooks Tumbleweed. I keep forgetting that that doesn't reset after I'm thingy. I don't like the Roman at first, but Maximus and Lucy are such lovable idiots, I want them to be happy. Yeah, same, I wasn't really feeling it, but then, like, that scene in the, uh... What is it? That one scene? In the, the like, ah, uh, yeah, in the vault? That was pretty funny. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that could definitely be like they could have definitely like got that short from like over here. Like, you know, here maybe? Just wait for it to be there again. Really disappointing the gulpers want remnants from the master's army that comes from Vault 4. I don't think that they, like, I don't think that gulpers came from Vault 4. I think that they're just like, they were also in Vault 4. Because gulpers are in Far Harbor. So, he's coming from Kali. True, so they would be coming from, uh, from down here, right now. Maybe probably, probably take the 115. Wasn't the Master's Army mostly super mutants and ghouls? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think, I think this section, yeah, that's, that's definitely the same fucking mountain. And you also have like, you can't see it because the LOD, but like, there's not a lot of buildings around here either. Like, you imagine the strip wall just there. Because this area is really empty. Like, you have... You have some stuff. And... Holy shit, wait. That could be, um... West side, maybe. Or would West side be over here? Watch the first episode, I'm going to be honest, it was a bit ass. I, like, I enjoyed the first episode, but then again, I watched it at the premiere, so... Could be a bit of bias, but I think the overall the series is quite good. So we would so that over there would be like um Jacob's Town and all of that. And that's those big mountains that you can you can see in game. And it also makes sense because there's no strip entrance on this side. I was thinking maybe that could be an entrance, but it doesn't really look like it or too much. Also, um the Ultralux is at the back. So maybe that's the Ultralux? Maybe? Or because I was thinking that's the Ultralux because of the shape, but I don't know. The sculpts seem to be a variant made from people mutated. I think the video of Lucy saw had a woman give birth to them and go eat. Yeah. What do you think about the soundtrack? I thought it was pretty good. Some callbacks to the games as well. I know. They um like holy shit, they they started playing like something that sounded so similar to Metallic Monks at some point. I screamed. Shady Sands nuked 2277. Um, that could be no. Yes and no. It the show heavily implies it, but that could easily not be the case because there's no date for the nuke. Is there like hang on? Do we have an age for Maximus? I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have any age for Maximus, but like, I would say he doesn't look all that old. I would say like 24 at most. Does this say when the uh, show takes place? Because it's, yeah, 2296. I have to put the calculator because I can't do that in my head. So we have 19 years for them to, um, for them to nuke Shady Sands. Well, less than that. Let's take off, like, and say Maximus was like at minimum you know he doesn't look very old in the thing so like uh, probably around like he bro looks like he's about 6 in this so they could have easily dropped the nukes like 22 AE they could have easily dropped the nukes after New Vegas like, that's the thing. You know? I'm new to the live, sorry. What the fuck? Scared so much about... They scared so much about 1 and 2 and New Vegas so much. They they can bring their writers for parts of the show. Or for show, don't they? 
Aaron Morton's acting was the f my favourite actor in the show. Yeah, he was really good as Maximus. Yeah. So this is this is this is definitely the shot from the trailer. Hundred a hundred percent. I mean like yeah the lucky 38's a little more to the to the left to here. But that could be perspective maybe. Like if they're coming at it from like this side over by Jacobstown. Maybe. Or they could they could still be coming from like oh, I was about to point on my screen. Like those rocks over there, maybe. But I think them coming at it from this side makes a lot more sense because we can't see Cap McCarran or any of that. That Yao Guai scene was hilarious. Oh, that was amazing. When I saw that, it was like they have captured Fallout players perfectly with that with that night. Like, you cannot tell me you have not like seen a Yao Guai or like a Deathclaw and just ran away screaming fuck. The Brahmins were so cute, I know, and they were the uh, they were the classic style Brahmins as well, not like the ones from a uh, three or four, which was pretty cool. Well, I wonder what people are saying about New Vegas. There are some serious deep lore issues with the show, particularly regarding Shady Sands and the NCR timeline. Other than that, the show is fine. Okay, we're gonna start cooking, chat. We're gonna start cooking. Okay, here we as, as you can see, I was very, uh, very passionate when writing the script. Um, okay. So. So, 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 so. Maximus selling his teeth for a split second of the welding had me giggling. I know, and like, when he was like, talking with a, with a lisp afterwards. Amazing. Okay, so. A lot of- oh, we ignore, ignore that and this. I haven't done those videos yet. Um, all I need to do is confirm the button bombs didn't drop in 2077 and we'll be fine. Exactly. A lot of people are- oops. Uh, I don't want to say upset. Concerned over the state that NCR over the state that the fuck that NCRs left them at the end of the Fallout TV show. The camera work was spot on as well. I know the camera work was really good. Right, actually, let me just check something. How long have we been going for? Because I really need a drink, and I don't have any, uh... 114? Okay, I'm just gonna go grab a drink of water real quick. Filled up my Vault 33 metal water bottle that I got. It says property of Vault Tech pure drinking water. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if it is because it doesn't say if the taps in my uh, accommodation are drinkable. Um. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing. As long as the bombs didn't drop them, it'll be fine. I'm gonna wait for Oxwan to make a video about it. Actually, no, I won't. I want to get my video out before Oxhorn does. <laughs> uh, okay. Where, where, where's my 
chat gone. There we go. Ignore them for a sec. I like how they did the whole war never changes theme, even after getting nuked into oblivion, someone still decided to nuke everything into oblivion again. Yeah. Did you see the Sunset Sasperilla sign? I think it was at episode 7 at the beginning. Yeah, it was also in a episode... Whatever episode Lucy gets attacked by the Gulpers. You can see it there as well. Wait, that's the thing. They were def Throughout the show, they were definitely hinting at, like, a New Vegas drop, I think. So... For me, it feels like Bethesda is stuck in keeping the it a barren apocalypse, even after 200 years. And Bethesda wanted the apocalypse vibe, not the nation building of the NCR. Maybe. But, um... I don't know, I think it makes a lot of sense for them to do what they did to the NCR. Because, I mean, the NCR was already pretty unstable at the time in New Vegas. And, like, for them to get hit like that, I mean, you know, it, go it goes with the theme. Like someone said, like, the war never changes, you know? I can't stop thinking about the cinematography. The scene where the ghost stands as the initial bomb drops, completely motionless, is so chilling. I know, bro. I, I genuinely got chills when in the premiere watching that. It was amazing, that scene. That's the thing, right? Should fall out society progress beyond the post-apocalypse? I don't know. I mean, it definitely could. I mean, and the NCR were, like, the base work for that. But I think, um... I think the NCR are getting, like, shut down, you know, because they already sort of had their peak. So, you know. I saw at the start was a big hit for New Vegas when Lucy hit, left the vote. But what do you mean was a big hit at New Vegas? Oh, hint. Ah. Uh, really? How come? Where's my YouTube? Here we go. Do they show the other shots in New Vegas? No, but they show this. Okay, so it doesn't look like New Vegas has been infested by the cloud. It just looks like it was, you know, the sun in the ending. Do they show the ending shots here? They must do, right? No? Damn. They only show this. They don't show the actual bits from the outro. Sad. Whoa, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Oh no, that's just the American flag in Fallout. I thought that was like the Enclave one. My bad. It was infested by the New Vegas brown filter. True. New Vegas is hardly apocalyptic. It's basically just a colonization of America in terms of societal progression. Yeah. By the way, is chat working? If it is, that's going to be really embarrassing. I hope it's not. No, okay. Because I literally have chat taking up, like, all that red space. And it's just not working. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to call it here. Mainly because I've got a bit of a headache. I woke up at, like, 2am to watch the movie with my mates. Not the movie. The first, like, four or five, epi five episodes. So, I'm going to end the stream and go to sleep. <laughs> For me, what's so interesting about the West Coast law is the progression. The NCR had society, economy, and universities. The lack of progressives, progressive kills the immersion as humanity, as humans naturally develop. True. All right. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I definitely think my views on the ending has changed since talking to some of you about it. And um, yeah. Bye.